Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda, and we're gonna talk about Finlay Donovan is Killing It by L. Cosimano. Now, the third book just had its cover reveal last month, and so we know the third book is coming because we've seen the cover. I wanted to try to find some sunglasses like this and wear them during, the, during this review, but I could not find them. Also, I don't really like Finlay. Is her name Finlay or Finley? I mean, it's clearly L-A-Y. Finlay Donovan is killing it. But I listened to this on audio as well, and they said Finley all the time. So, I don't know. The best part of this book is the sidekick. I will say that. I'm not going to tell you how she gets a sidekick, but the best part of this book is the sidekick. Here's what the problem that I have with this book. Oh, and overall, I gave this four out of five stars. <laughs> So clearly my problem with it is not huge, but it is something that really, really annoyed me. Okay, they tell you as a writer, when you're getting ready to write your book, that you need to have your main character have to, have to do something, right? There needs to be some moment where they, a catalyst in some kind of way that turns them and their life can't be the same anymore after this catalyst. So I understand that what the writer was trying to do is tell us that Finlay's life is as low as it can possibly be and she has to do something, she is desperate. However, it just went too far at the very beginning. I'm talking the very first chapter. I did not like her. She is set up as a horribly neglectful mother because she is not taking care of her children. She has let it get so bad that she is having to be controlled by her ex-husband because she refuses to just go work at McDonald's or something. I don't know, but she refuses to go get a job. She's a writer, and that's all she wants to be is a writer. However, I wanted to tell her, if your lights are getting turned off in your house, and you have to go to your ex-husband to get money because you're not making any money writing, then go get a job, even if it's just for a little while, to keep the lights on in the house where your children live. Okay. I got real upset about that. <laughs> and it made me really angry with her for the rest of the book. She did not redeem herself enough for me to just love her. So, like I said, her sidekick, best character in the book. I liked her so much. Now, I have not read book two. I do own it, and I will be reading it, but I have not read it yet. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to like her more in the second book, if I'm going to like her sidekick more or less in the second book. I don't know. Let's talk about what actually happens in this book. She's a writer, as I have already stated. <laughs> she refuses to get another job. She has a contract on a book that she's supposed to be writing, so she goes to meet her agent to discuss the book she's supposed to be writing. She writes mysteries. So as she's describing the mystery that she wants to write and talking about killing a character, someone at the Panera Bread next to her hears what she's talking about and mistakes her for a hitman, hit woman. I don't know, a hit person. I don't even know what you call it, but, oh, being a hit mom is what it says on the back of this. What happens is Finlay gets a note slid to her from this lady. She follows up on it and realizes that the woman wants her husband killed. And Finlay's like, uh, I don't do that. But she doesn't drop it right there. Like She continues on. She contacts the woman. She shows up at the place where the hit is supposed to happen. And I will just say chaos ensue and ensues and it is funny there are lots of moments in here that are funny there are those moments that when you're watching a sitcom and you know what's about to happen and you can tell that it's getting tense and somebody's about to be like um what is happening and so there are lots of moments like that and like i said it's funny the banter is witty the characters outside of finley herself i don't mind like she has made the ex super despicable and is an, he is so annoying to me, but he's not 
Like, I don't super hate him the way I should. I don't like him at all. But I think he's a really well-written character. His new wife, I even like her. Like, I think her characterization is really good. I really enjoyed this book. I enjoyed the overall plot. I enjoyed how we got there and the process that we went to get there. I just did not like the very beginning, the setup, where I'm convinced that she's a bad mom. And I don't know. I mean, it seems like she puts her pride in front of her children. And... I don't know if I'm going to get over that in book two or not, but once I read it, I'll be sure to come back and let you know what I think about it. But I want to know what you thought about this. Did you like her all the way through? Is this one of your most favorite books that you've read? Have you read it? Did you not like it? I just want to talk about it down below. So comment down there. Let's talk about this. Leave a sunglasses emoji because she has sunglasses on in every cover of every one of these books. So that is going to do it for today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.